when all the cliches have been spoken, when all the rhetoric has been expressed, when the stories and the myths and the black and the white and the shades of gray have been identified, and there is, for a brief moment, clarity and peace. When all these things converge, we can truly learn and share. Today, the Canadian AIDS Society is focused on, devoted to, the idea of people working together. This is what we do. We are driven by our love and passion and caring for humankind, and the certain knowledge that the stakes have never been higher. Today, our strength can be rekindled and rediscovered, can be felt through the humble, simple notion that we can work together. For we have the privilege and the responsibility to be leaders, allowing knowledge and purpose and passion to come together. In order for this to happen, it is important for you to know that your voice counts. Everyone here contributes to one unified voice. Everyone here is essential. And so, we invite you to participate in Canada's leadership at the individual, community, and national levels. About awareness programs and activities. About social factors and inequities driving the epidemic about prevention programs and efforts, about diagnosis, care and treatment, about global leadership, and about Canada's frontline capacity to respond. We are a movement built at the grassroots level, and we're proud of those roots. We invite you to share our celebration of a quarter of a century of service. And we invite you to engage. Cast your mind back to the mid-80s. In its first decade, we experienced almost 33,000 cases of HIV in Canada. It was about our friends, our brothers, dying all around us. It was a time when HIV and AIDS were pushed further underground. A time when religious groups, governments, friends and families simply did not know what to do. Some either condemned or turned their backs on the gay play. Medicine and science were slow to react. And yet, in Canada and around the world at the grassroots level, a movement was born and grew with resilience, determination, devotion to caring, to finding a cure, to hope. We rallied around those who were dying. We helped them live and die with dignity, often when their own families had turned away, often when there was nothing else we could do. We struggled to develop the tools we needed. We focused on the basics, awareness and prevention, mobilization, organization, and building capacity as we could. We pushed and challenged as others began to hear our cry. We worked to overcome fear. Today, we are proud of our accomplishments. A commitment to the JIPA principle. Greater, more meaningful involvement at a strategic level by people living with HIV and AIDS. A strong Canadian network linking to a strong North American network, linking to a strong global movement. New prevention technologies. Broader awareness, ensuring today's youth and groups who considered themselves relatively unaffected by HIV and AIDS are sensitized to their hard realities. Medications and treatments that have dramatically increased life expectancy for those living with HIV and AIDS. And yet, in far too many places around the world, AIDS is still a death sentence. In far too many places, even speaking of it can be a death sentence. Too many of our most vulnerable are unable to avoid the difficulties that are so much a part of how they live, where they live. We face issues as complicated as the criminalization of HIV non-disclosure, 
ARTs, prevention, increases in the number of women contracting HIV, and more. So today, we commit to addressing the continuing challenges at home and abroad. We focus on identifying and learning to reach out to the citizens and communities of the world. Today, we focus on valuing life and life experiences, on openness, on sharing our knowledge, on finding solutions together. We know the challenges that are before us, the need to move research forward so we can provide better medication and treatment, better care around the world. The need to eliminate stigma and discrimination, to wipe out sexism, ageism, homophobia. The need to build new levels of understanding, to better communicate the messages of HIV and AIDS, to mitigate their effects, and to legislate with respect, dignity, and long-term commitment. More than anything, we strive to increase the understanding of the notion of worldwide responsibility, to strengthen our determination to speak up with courage and without fear. More than anything, we want a world without AIDS. A world without AIDS. And so we invite you to ignite your passion, to help us have a dramatic effect on the lives of men, women, children. We believe that as leaders, we will join together and be the instruments of monumental global change. We will be the voice for the powerless and the frightened. We will stand united for freedom, for rights, for dignity, for hope.